All right, people, I'm back again. You ever notice how the apostles went back and checked up on people to see their progress? Like to see if they still standing strong in the faith? What makes you think that Christ is not checking up on you to make sure you stay true to the faith? And the thing is, Christ checking up on you, but guess who is trying to tempt you? Behold, Satan desires to sift you like wheat. <laughs> make sure you have the whole armor of God on. Does, all this, does this make any sense to you? What I'm telling you right now? He's telling you that the devil is going to be after you. You better make sure you stand grounded in the faith. Because guess what? The devil is going to come at you. As many ways as he can possibly. To distort your reality of what the truth is. But God's going to send people there to check up on you. Make sure you stand in line. So what I'm trying to tell people is. There's a process that begins. That don't end until you go to sleep. It's no instant process. Like you get it right. One thing about it. When I first read the Bible. I thought I figured it out. I thought I had it all together. And then a voice. A small voice in my head said. Houston I'm going to leave you for a while. You ain't going to feel me like you normally feel me. It was like. What? I'm talking about, I went to waking up in the morning. Filled with the having tingling feelings. Soon as something, it's like I had the perfect discernment. Like God was working on me that hard. Like He was with me the whole time. You know what He sent the disciples out and they came back. Hey man, even the devil submit to us. You know, I was I had that feeling like, whoa, whoa. Like I was being led so easily that it was like I couldn't mess up. You understand? Then oh, I'm talking about out of nowhere, I'm sitting down on the back porch. You just gonna leave you for a while. You ain't gonna feel me as much as you used to. You ain't gotta believe me. It happened. And guess what? The tingling, the, the spider sense, it just started going away. Now I'm stressed out there as a sheep amongst wolves. And I gotta learn. I didn't have the perfect discernment. I had to start developing discernment. I had to go through trials and tribulations, go through some things. It's just like when you join a job, you know what I'm saying? Let's say you're a welder. Right? Oh, let's let's say truck driving. You know, when you first start truck driving, they got the driver right there next to you, making sure you on point. However long that is, two weeks, whatever. Then they're like, you know what? He's good enough to go out on his own. Now you ain't got no assistant driver with you. They go with welding, any other job profession. They're gonna train you up. They're going to be right there by your side. God's going to be right there by your side the whole time. Think about it. With David. And then all of a sudden, who that is bathing over there? The spirit wasn't on him wholeheartedly right then. He had to use discernment. And he failed miserably. And sometimes you're going to fail miserably as Christians. <laughs> you're going to be like, oh, Lord. I know I messed up. Oh, you ain't gonna even realize you messed up and they're gonna come through just like you. What? There was a man that had a, a young row and he loved and cherished it. And there was a man that had so much more. And he, the man that had a lot when it took the man that had one. And Dave was like, who is this man? Get him right now. It's you. It's you. <laughs> and sometimes that's what God's gonna be like. It's you. You is the one. And then you gotta learn. Then you gotta go through some things. Oh, the process don't end instantly. Read through Paul. Shipwreck 12 times. Strike this stone in prison. Whoa. What make you think? Is it going to be smooth sailing? Like you ain't going to have to prove. All you got to do is just confess with your mouth that Christ is Lord and you all good. Oh, that's what you think? Because you done heard so many people tell you that? So a lot of y'all just waiting. Hopefully, you before you had that wreck, you're like, Lord Jesus, I accept. I saw a movie uh, a few years ago. You understand? It's, it's about these people trying to sell their soul to the devil to get fortune and fame. And uh, they run upon this guy, and uh, let's say that the things didn't go as planned. And then they had this one dude, he's a comedian, he plays on Wild and Out, and he was like, he was burning up. He was like, I accept Christ as my Lord and Savior. And then he died. 
You think that's how it works? You think he got into heaven? So what makes you think you can do it? You think he got into heaven? He was right in the process of selling his soul to the devil. And then when he realized that didn't work, he was like, I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. You think movies be lying to you? They tell the truth, but it doesn't. I'm telling you, you think he went to heaven. Do you think he did it? I'm just being real. What makes you think your loved ones that on the last minute gotta make it to heaven? He said, everybody be judged according to their works. Well, if you ain't did no work in the born again process, how in the hell can you expect to reach heaven if you ain't did no work? Show me your faith and I'll show you my works. Show me your works without your faith. Holy crap. The Bible is so self-explanatory, people. Get to work. Get ready. The transformation has begun. Do something different. Step out on faith. Get to work. Whatever God wants you to do. It's different for everybody now. Everybody work ain't the same. Just want to let you know that. So don't start trying to model yourself after people. Little children, keep yourself from idols. Realize what the Lord wants for you to do for him. I'm not Paul. I'm not Peter. I'm not Samson. I'm not Noah. I'm not Moses. I'm not any of those listed in the Bible. But I am Houston McCullum Beard Jr. And God has a job for me to do. And that's what I'm waiting to do. Whatever God has for me to do. Y'all need to realize what God wants for you to do. Because there is a job for you to do now. What are you going to do, buddy? What are you going to do? <laughs> you going to wait till your last minute? Are you going to go through spreading your testimony like Peter, like Paul did? Are well, you going to tell people about the Lord and why you serve him? What are you going to do? That's your question. Answer me. Have you been doing it? Have you been testifying? Have you been telling people about your love for Christ while you serve him? Or are you just serving your own belly? Or are you just, I gave my life to Christ yesterday and went back to doing what you've been doing and thinking that's enough. <laughs> people, have a blessed weekend. You've started the process. You gave your life over to Christ. Show him that you live for him. You're going to have some stumbles up. You're not just going to wake up like, I got it right, I'm perfect. I thought that at one time, and then God was like, you ain't watched it. Ha ha! Are you ready? I hope you are. Because once you, what they say, the, the change is forever. So one of them uh, army commercials or something. It's like once a Marine, always a Marine. Like, you know, once a Christian, always a Christian. I, I hope that's the, the case for most of you. But the Bible is telling you that some people are going to fall away from being the Christian faith. But he said, you a brother that see somebody turn away, you bring them back, uh, great. And he said, whose mind can't be taken. So if you were taken away from him, you probably wasn't his. And, oh, Lord, have mercy. I can go forever. Wake up. Do what you're called to do. Have a blessed day.